Shut a cock, everybody. Shut a cock. All right, check it out. So, like today, I got something for everybody. All right, I've been wanting to do one of these demos, but I had to wait till I can find the base. All right, so today I found the base, and not today I particularly found the base. I found the base, and now I can do the demo. All right, and I'm going to I'm going to give you my opinion of what I think about this base. I don't know if you can see it behind me or not. Some of you guys probably already done spotted it out. It's okay though. Go ahead, spot it out. Can you see it now? Huh? No. All right, let's check it out. All right, so today we're looking at the Federo. All right? This is a yin yang. I, I didn't really have to tell a lot of you cats. Your mouth is probably watering anyway. This is the yin yang. All right? Okay? This is the five string version of the yin yang. It done been through the Hobo Depot. And there's a fly, there's a butterfly. All right, so everybody knows by now, for those who don't know, this is a China yin yang. This is not Vinny Federa and them yin yang. This is Chinese yin yang. Now you can tell the difference between Vinny and the Chinese yin yang, all right? I don't have to get into you and tell you all the differences that you can actually, um, well, a lot of people say, oh, it's a craftsmanship. Okay, we can get into that, but we already know it's still wood. Let's just, just leave it right there. It's wood. It's what it is. All right? Combinations of wood. All right, so basically what I did in the, in the Hobo Depot is first I took out the EMGs and I took out the, the P-Base and I took out the Jazz EMG. That's the first thing I did, all right? Because I wanted to replace it with the real stuff, and I did, and it didn't work out, all right? It was actually horrible sounding. I'm just saying what I know. To me, it sounded horrible. I had the real EMGs in it, and it didn't, it didn't, it didn't pan right. Um, I put the gold hardware on it. It doesn't come with gold. It comes with black. Um, tuning keys the same way. I changed the tuning keys. Um, it doesn't come with that one, um, but when I got it, it was already there, so I just replaced it with gold. So all the tuning keys and stuff is gold. All right? I replaced the nut. Cause the nut is garbage when it comes in. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I heard some some really scary stories about these bases. Um, like when you get them in, the um, the fret work will actually make you bleed. This one is really good. I don't know who somebody did the fret work before it got to me or what, but it's a beautiful base. Um, it looks like um, three pieces of, of wood in the back. I don't know what's in the front, yeah, but you can also tell right here that it's not correct all right there's a lot of flaws in these bases um this that's rosewood um basically and it's got some you got some wood paint i love it though all right so basically i changed the preamp in it too because the preamp that came in it was garbage all right um somebody when i got it somebody that took all the preamp stuff out and put it made it passive so that switch never worked all right so I put a new switch in it, all right? Basically, on these bases, the switch is just for on and off. That's it. It doesn't cut and doesn't do any kind of cutting or anything like that. Does nothing in that. Does nothing like that. All right, so basically, um, it's a great feeling base. Um, it's got that, it's almost got a C shape. The neck is pretty flat on the back. Uh, but for the money, uh, I put a, a Tone Monster preamp in it. So it has... Volume, pan, bass, and treble. Well, treble and bass. Um, and I didn't want to cut any more holes and put, you know, all the fancy stuff in it. Because, you know, a real, a real, um, Federa like this, you're talking maybe eight to ten thousand, maybe twelve thousand dollars. This, nowhere close. So, let's hear it. All right, so basically, I did a lot of work on it, but I put the, I kept the original pickups in it. Um, like I said, because I didn't like the real EMGs in it because they didn't sound right. And it might be because of the wood combination, all right? And don't don't get into that. Oh, because it's cheap wood. Don't even get into that, bro. Because <laughs> a lot of people put great stuff in cheap wood every day and it works. So let's not tear anything apart because it was made in China, all right? Let's not do that, guys. Come on now. Let's just make it happen. All right, so a lot of people can, a lot of people would like to have a Federa. This is the closest thing you can get up for there without spending eight to ten G's. Okay, now let's hear it. All right, so what I, I got, like I said, I got a Tone Monster preamp in it. Um, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the rear pickup first. All right. I'm coming through my uh, Aguilar 112 and my MB800 GK. Okay. There's nothing on. This is what this bass sounds like with nothing on. Okay, that's the rear pickup. Let's go to the front. I don't know about y'all, but the bass sounds clean. All right. So now we're going both pickups. That's that. That's that. PJ setup sound. Has its own distinguished sound. Now with this bass, you can tell that the the, the jazz pickup is much closer to the PJ setup. All right, setup. So it sounds a little bit more of glassy. All right, so it sounds great though. Okay, so mind you, I got the bass turned way, way down. Okay, so let's let's go with let's go to D ten on trouble. Okay, now let's go to bass to D ten. Crazy, right? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go. Um, trouble all the way. Woo, it's about to get ugly. Woo! <laughs> I'm about to cry. Uh, no, I'm not. But I am happy. All right, so let's go to bass all the way. Bananas right there, son. Listen at that. All right, so I'm gonna turn it back a little bit, and we will see how she sounds when you funk on it. Let's take some of that bottom out, cause I don't want to knock my pictures down, cause my queen will be mad at me, and I don't want her mad at me. All right, so here we go. Both pick up. Here we go. Some more. 
to that front pickup again. Turn the bass up because it hit so hard. Oh my god, it's hitting hard. Federo's gonna sound like mine. I'm not gonna say that. I'm just saying a lot of work went into this to make this sound like this and play like this. I mean, the strings are laying right on the neck. And once again, you know, this is the uh, this is the yin yang. And I haven't had a chance to really take it out. Well, I did a, 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 a orchestra a orchestra concert with it, but. You know, doing an orchestra concert, you're not going to have that kind of funk stuff going on. You're just going to have a straight bottom. But as far as playability, yeah, yeah. And money, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a quality of the, of the build, I would say it's a great build, y'all. I mean, for a Chinese, it's great. I mean, it's put together. With, it's, it's, it's got imperfections. Listen. The thing got imperfections. We all can see that. That's an imperfection right there. But as far as playability, and as far as sound, I'm there, man. I'm, I'm there with you, girl. I won't leave you. <laughs> um, but look at it. I mean, it's, you know, it's a great base for the money. And that's what we're looking at. We're looking at stuff for the money. You know, we want to save some bucks. We want to sound good. We want to look good. Some people. Um, this is the Federa. This is the Chinese Federa. Once again, I'm going to tell you guys, your Federa you get from there may not sound like this one. All right, this one been through the Hobo Depot, and I just want to throw that in there. But you look good, girl. I must say, you look good and you sound good. I must say, you look good and you sound good. And I will say, she look good and she sound good. Shout out, Kaka. Johnny Long. Peace.